My name is Lisa Kemathi. I am a senior associate in the research department at Standard Investment Bank. I majorly look at equities on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. We saw a significant decline among the three indices, the NASI, the NSC20 and the NSC25. We actually had a double digit decline on the NASI at 14% down. Uh, we've seen a decline the, the entire year from January to May. Every month has posted a decline, but this is one of the sharpest monthly declines that we have had. This is majorly because of the um, foreign exits that we've seen in the month, and this does not speak mainly on fundamentals, it's much more on foreign selling, which is similar to what we've seen globally. If you look at most global indices, they are also trading in the red year to date. And that's because of foreigners selling and choosing to hold cash and other safer assets as inflation goes up and as interest rates go up in return to lower the inflation. So, so far we are seeing the NASI at its lowest since August 2020. Um, and the NSC20, which has generally been a bit more resilient, is actually at its lowest over 20 years since 2002. Um, and as I said, this is because of a foreign selling and not speaking mainly on fundamentals. So the top movers were Safaricom followed by EABL and Equity Bank. Uh, Safaricom made up 51.5% of the total turnover, which is typically usual for Safaricom, which is generally also the top traded counter um, almost every month and daily. This is also based from the fact that Safaricom accounts for the largest share of our market cap, currently at about 52%. Um, it's usually sometimes even at the higher 50s or 60%, but due to the drop in price, we're seeing it accounting for about 52% of market cap. Uh, so that's why generally in Talova also it accounts for usually about um, 50 or slightly higher than 50%. Uh, it was followed by EABL, which is another counter that is largely foreign traded. Um, so our, within our market we see foreign participation varies at around um, within the 60s, um, sometimes at highs of 70% but within the 60s. Um, so basically the counters that are mostly foreign traded tend to be the largest in terms of turnover. So the same with um, EABL and, and Equity Bank. And among these top movers also, um, we saw all of them post a decline in price with Safaricom one of the lowest. I think so far it has lost 22% um, year to date. Uh, so the leading gainers of the month of May was Sunlam followed by Kaya and General. And the leading losers were was WPP. The leading loser was WPP Scan Group followed by Safaricom. Uh, WPP Scan Group uh, potentially dropped after the full year 21 earnings which still posted a loss and no dividend. Uh, Safaricom as explained earlier was because of the foreign selling. Uh, on the leading gainers, for Sunlam it appears the price started to tick up uh, after the announcement about on the transaction with Allianz Insurance of Germany and for Kai in general uh, this appears despite it coming down uh, since the bonus uh, it appears to still maintain a high compared to the historical prices within the 20s. So some of the counters and sectors to watch out for um, will be banking sector, um, Safaricom, BAT, ABL and Centum, uh, possibly also TPS, East Africa. So on the banking sector, uh, we saw the central bank increase the CBR, the central bank rate, from 7% to 7.5%, which could allow banks to increase their lending rate, uh, and then which would also increase their margins, um, especially for banks that still price their loans based on CBR ever since the rate cap. So we could see that come in. Um, we've seen private sector credit growth grow by double digits since April, which means there's appetite for debt. Um, and with that room to charge, at least to factor for higher risk, especially seeing what's going on even in the market with the higher cost of living and all. So we could see at least um, banks perform well this year. Um, 
as well as we've seen their prices come down significantly most banks are actually um, underpriced they're trading at a discount and we actually have a buy recommendation for most of them so it's a sector worth watching out for um, and for those who actually who can it's an opportunity to get into the stocks um, on safaricom uh, we, it's trading at around 26 um, six, very significant discount um, year to date just in the month of May it's down 22 percent um, and even while factoring Ethiopia and all its potential risks and the cost of investment um, we still feel that Safaricom is still a buy at this at the current price so it's another counter that is uh, worth watching out for uh, because what we're seeing is it could also potentially go lower or it could sustain at the current price um, until the global situation turns around. Um, for BAT and EABL, um, it's, it's linked to the finance bill and taxation. So we're waiting for the outcome as the parliamentarians debate, as the MPs debate um, the finance bill. Though already it seems that um, the additional 10% excise duty increase on EABL may not, may not pass. Uh, but those are two counters worth watching out for in terms of tax and outcome of the finance bill. Uh, for Centum, um, they've recently announced that um, they're selling some stake in their selling CDN Bank, uh, which is one of the investments. So, of course, we wait to see the terms of that um, transaction and whether it will yield any sort of dividend and what the future income flows will be. Um, so those are the key counters to watch out for.